What's going on, everybody? As always, it's a blessing to be here. You're here with your exchange. I'm the Crypto Caressa, the Forex Finesse, and the Stock Successor. By that being said, if you guys are new to this channel, then by all means, hit that subscribe button with the bell notification so you can be notified every single time I drop information pack videos, just like the one you're watching right now. And today's topic will be on Robinhood ready to list cryptos by waiting on clarity. Bad Gary. He's a bad Gary. He's not giving nobody clarity, even the XRP community or anyone in crypto. Bad Gary, bad SEC. That's on your hands, guys. But before we even get into this video, guys, share the video with anybody you know. Like this video. If you find it interesting or useful or information packed, any type of thing. If you enjoyed the content so far as well, like this video. Support this channel by sharing this video and subscribing to this channel. God bless you guys. Now let's get straight into this video after this beautiful intro. Four X, four X. So guys, Robinhood is trying to list more cryptocurrencies, but they're waiting for regulations from the SEC. That's why we need to be on the space. We're tired of this earth people, man. They are not doing their job properly. They're outdated technology. They're outdated people, you know. Not, it doesn't matter if you're old, but you still have to cope up with the technology and the times that you're living in so you can fully understand what's going on. But it, it does not seem to be what they're doing. And that's the main reason that Robinhood claims that they're not listing any other cryptocurrencies just yet. But let's get into it. Robinhood on listing more cryptocurrencies is important that we get a bit more clarity from regulators. Let's scroll down over here. Robinhood's chief financial officer has revealed the popular trading platform crypto priority and the potential of listing more cryptocurrencies. Quote, we're a highly regulated company in a highly regulated industry. And we think it's important that we get a bit more clarity from regulators. He emphasized, end quote. So who are the regulators in this case? You already know who the regulators are. It's the SEC, Securities and Exchange Commission, and they still have not been doing a great job on it. As you guys can see over here, we scroll down and Robinhood waiting for regulatory clarity. The CFO of Robinhood, Jason Warnick, talked about cryptocurrencies during the Wall Street Journal CFO Network Summit last week. Commenting on retail investors' high demand for Robinhood to list more cryptocurrency, particularly the meme crypto Shiba Inu. Let's go, Shib Army. Warnick emphasized, quote, it's not lost on us that our customers and others would like to see some more coins, end quote. However, the Robinhood executive stressed, quote, we are a highly regulated company. Because first of all, if you're doing stocks and you're an exchange, you're supposed to be regulated. That's the biggest issue, main reason. Before you even get into it, that's the highest thing you need to get into. And then investors and everything like that. But in a highly regulated industry, and they think it's important that they get a bit more clarity from the regulators. And again, compliance is a top priority at Robinhood. And in December last year, the company partnered with blockchain data platform Chainalysis to meet compliance requirements. And supporters of the Shiba Inu cryptocurrency, let's go, have been petitioning on change for Robinhood to list SHIB. At the time of writing, 555,811 people have signed the petition. That's over half a million people that have signed the petition. So keep signing it. Let's keep going. That's just to get the word out there. But still, they're going to tell us they're waiting for regulatory actions to be taken. So Christine Brown, Robinhood's crypto's chief operating officer and vice president of product operations said in November of 2021 that the platform is in no hurry to list any additional cryptocurrencies. Her statement was in response to a question about Shiba Inu and when it will be listed. But she said they're not in a hurry to list Shiba Inu or any other cryptocurrencies. But let's take a look at what was the outcome of 2021 and 2020 of their revenue and everything else that had to do with their money. So as you guys can see here, the revenue for Robinhood was $420 million in the first three months of the year of 2021, which is quarter one, which is January, February, and March, the first three months. A greater than fourfold jump from 96 million a year 
earlier, on 2020, they made $96 million in the whole year. Not in any quarter specifically, but the whole year they made $96 million. So look how far and how low they've come. It lost $1.4 billion during that period. Far wider than a loss of $53 million a year ago. And we'll just end it right there. I would rather lose $53 million. That's a lot of money, guys. I'd rather lose $53 million anytime but then lose $1.4 in my company in less than one year. So what's the point of getting $420 million in the first three months if you're going to lose quadruple that much? That would make no sense. You know, I'd rather just keep my, my $96 million a year and steadily grow it than make $420 million in three months and then lose quadruple the amount that you made. So they're in a deficit. They're in a loss right now. So they definitely need Shiba and you than any other cryptocurrencies, but also they need any other cryptocurrency to be listed on their platform to make them some income, to make them some revenue, to take away the losses that they've been continually having. Because 1.4 billion is an insane amount of money to be losing, especially for your investors, because they're the one invested in you to make sure that you make a great choices and not lose them that much amount of money but also for yourself as well as a company that doesn't look good for anybody looking at it. But for yourself, you should also be like, wow, this is not good for my company. What should we do or what can we do to make greater things and greater steps in this company to make sure that we don't land ourselves in this spot again, <clears throat> aka listing Shiba Inu. But they're over here complaining, saying that they don't have any regulatory actions that the SEC have been taking to list Shiba Inu and they're not in any hurry. But they'll be hit with a lawsuit if they do as well. That's what they're saying here. But Robinhood Crypto currently supports the buying, selling, and real-time market data for Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin SV, Dogecoin, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, and Litecoin. So they technically support seven cryptocurrencies. So if they take out Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV, they technically support five cryptocurrencies that are doing well. If they take out two of them, which would leave them with five, they can literally add Shiba and Baby Doge or any other cryptocurrencies, but they're always saying we're looking for regulatory clarity so we won't be able to list these tokens until we get this regulatory clarity. That's their go to mode when they say we're not able to list this token yet, but we'll be buying this token. So when we're ready to list it, then we'll be able to list it. And again, over here, the micro, such as micro strategy and Tesla, he explained, quote, they aren't compelling reasons strategically. For our business to put the meaning any meaning amount of our corporate cash into cryptocurrencies because he was asked over here what about some treasury like companies micro strategy and tesla and putting about 10 percent of your cash revenue or cash into or your cash reserves into cryptocurrencies and they said that there aren't any compelling reasons but it's going to be so funny to see them in the next two months or even in the next six months saying hey guys we're going to be putting in 10% of our allocated income or allocated cash into cryptocurrencies. So just wait on it. It's just a matter of time before they do things like this. So in December last year, Robinhood launched a cryptocurrency gift platform. The company also announced the upcoming beta launch of its cryptocurrency wallets, which has a wait list of 1.6 million people. And I'm included in that wait list as well. And with that cryptocurrency wallet from Robinhood comes out, I'll keep you guys updated. But for now, we're waiting on regulatory clarity. So bad Gary and SEC, do your job, please, and do it diligently. But by that being said, guys, thank you for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up. Share this video with anybody you know that's interested in the financial markets that don't just want to be financially stable, but that wants to be financially thriving and financially successful. But by that being said, guys, subscribe to this channel if you guys are new or recurring viewers and you still have not hit the subscription. So you can be notified every single time I post information-packed videos, just like the one you're watching right now. And God bless you guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.